Rabbit and Red is a trilogy where the first book in particular starts as this competition where the, each character can demonstrate how much he or she knows about horror movies and Stephen King books and all these types of things. And it's a celebration of our love of scary movies. Writing the book itself was very difficult and, and a long process. And of course, there's three books we're talking about. We're talking about a whole trilogy. So this has been uh, three years. But getting it published, especially getting that first book out there, was very, a very difficult journey. Very rewarding, but one of the hardest uh, experiences that I've ever gone through. But you have to be persistent in this field, too. But you also have to learn from your criticism. So I didn't blow it off. I took it to heart. I got very intelligent people to read the book and to give me some good feedback and I rewrote it. I, I learned what it took to uh, be ambitious and be persistent and now today I collaborate with uh, several other authors to really try to promote our work out there. The first run through was like oh this is for my two daughters and this is for my sister and this is for and then they said but you've done all this work put it up for sale. So I did and it's they've done pretty well. I, I was surprising in fact we, we put them in Kindle and the amazing thing is I have a big following in Japan. <laughs> um, the good thing about community, if online or if here, is people supporting other people. It's interacting with your readers, building a fan base, and having a strong local um, support system. I'm lucky that I have Barnes & Noble. Um, as we've seen, you know, the manager there, Deb um, and Bonnie, have been fantastic. Deb put it on her staff recommended shelf and that's, that's helped sell you know, hundreds of copies. It's just, a, it's unbelievable. The main events that we have are the uh, local author nights. We do that twice a year, usually one in March and then usually one right before the holidays, September, sometimes early October. You're your biggest ally, so promote, 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 and then um, work with us and we can usually get you on the shelves. If you love scary stories, this is the book for you, or if there's something out there that you love, you love romance novels, then maybe that's the story that you write. Um, and I'm just trying to celebrate that genre, and so it's just, for me, it's neat because I get to connect with horror fans. He never really signified anything horror, so it was kind of a shock. Yeah, I saw Joseph Shinnok as this nice communications professor, you know, so happy and giggling and smiling. And then you open this book and realize that he's the one that wrote it. So it's like, I go to class the next day, I don't look at him the same. I can see the resemblance of like Stephen King and the 1980s slashers and stuff like that, which I absolutely love. Here's Johnny! <laughs> I think that we love horror for a variety of reasons, and, and it's part of why I wanted to write Rabbit and Red, is why do we like these stories? And number one is, it's an adrenaline rush. I mean, who doesn't like that feeling of uh, ultimate terror in a haunted house? And I say that facetiously, because I know a lot of people don't like to be scared. We don't view ourselves as just scarers or whatever. We're entertainers, we're artists. We just think that it's fabulous that he's becoming quite popular, so. <laughs> Comedies make you laugh. Horror produces that physical reaction too. It's just a thrill, it's a jump. Wherever you are, pre-order Barry the Rabbit. It's the third and final Rabbit in Red book. It'll come out on October 28th. As our characters go through these challenges in a mega scavenger hunt around the US, they're chased, of course, by not just one, but multiple villains who all want the keys to Rabbit and Red for themselves. But here is the end, and it's just the end of one series. Um, and I hope that you will continue to enjoy it and celebrate it and, and we'll see what's coming next right after this.